Hello everyone. Uh, in my previous video, I showed you how to make a masking effect using Anime CC. And those masking effects were based on timeline animation. Today I'm going to show you a little bit different type of animation uh, using ActionScript 3.0. And don't be nervous, it's going to be really simple. ActionScript. And then uh, it will present uh, kind of a soft edge masking effect. So it looks pretty cool just like this. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so this is what we're going to do today. So uh, let me test the movie, command return. So from black and white photo, and then uh, just a car, the, it turns to just a, a really, really bright, uh, the vibrant red. So this is a masking. Uh, using Action Script 3.0, soft edge masking. So, first, uh, please download this red car image uh, from the link I provided um, so you can download it and please open it in Photoshop. It will look just like this. And it has the size of, of uh, 640 by 480, so uh, we can uh, work on that movie size in the Anime CC. So, first, we're going to provide two different images from here. One as a black and white, and also we're going to save this image as the um, black and white background and red car. So two different ones. So let me make a copy of this image and duplicate it. Okay. And then go to images menu. Uh, I would use the um, just adjustment and the black and white. Yeah, I'm not going to change anything, just to save it. And save for web, export, save for web, and save as just a JPEG high. So I saved it already, so I'm going to cancel. Okay, so that's the one. Another thing is, we're going to uh, clip the, just around this the red car using the pen tool. And then just background will turn to um, just black and white. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so I'm now I'm closing uh, my path. Okay. Then go to path panel and make a selection. Okay, and then, so I'm selecting just a car, but I want to keep this red. I just want to change my background as a black and white. So go to select menu and inverse the selection. Then go to images menu, adjustment, and choose the black and white as we did. And okay. Now save this file for web as a JPEG high as well. I'm not going to because I already saved it. Okay, now open new anime CC file. I'm making a new file. Um, create new, yeah, 640 by 480. Everything's the same. Platform type. This time we have to use ActionScript 3.0 platform because uh, we're going to apply the masking effect using ActionScript. So it's not going to work as HTML5. So this is important. So create it. So once you create a new file, first uh, please the, uh, import your two files, one black and white and one red. So one black and white, this one, as a JPEG to the library, and my red one to here. So I have one red.jpg and one black and white.jpg. So that's what we need. And then before we start, uh, let's create yeah, maybe two more layers. And the first one, I'm going to rename it as a black and white. And the second layer as a red. And the top layer for now as a masking layer. Masking. Okay. Then, 
first step is pretty easy. Let me sip a coffee. Coffee is my friend. <clears throat> first, the bottom black and white layer. Uh, please just then drag and drop your black and white photo directly from the library to your stage. And open the properties panel, set the um, X and Y coordination to 0 by 0. Okay. Now I'm going to lock it for now. Now second layer. We're going to need to have that uh, the red one, but as a movie clip symbol. So in the library, uh, let me create a new movie clip symbol. Maybe you can create a new one from here by clicking this new symbol button or insert a new symbol. Either way is fine. And I'm going to name it as uh, just a red, as a movie clip. Okay, so this is what I got. And as you can see that, I'm in a red movie clip symbols editing window. Okay, then select your red.jpg and drag and drop into this movie clip symbol and set the properties and x and y to 0 by 0. Okay, then let me go back. So in this red channel, I mean in this red layer from the library, please choose your red movie clip symbol we have just made and drag and drop here. Set the position X0 and Y0 as well. And then another thing is, this is important. So this is a movie clip symbol. And then I just dragged from my library to the stage. So once you drag and drop your movie clip symbol from the library to the stage, it is called the instance. And then each instance need to have a name. So we can use the action script. So I'm going to name it as red underscore MC. Uh, when you name your instances, instances names just like this, please do not use any other punctuation mark or symbol except underscore. Okay, so this is done. Now masking that. Let me lock this layer. Masking. Let me zoom out a little bit. Uh, in this masking layer, I'm going to draw a little bit larger, I mean taller, rectangle. Maybe this is not a good color. Let me do this again. Let me do it from here so you can see it. And then um, height will be a little bit taller and then on the width, uh, maybe I make it a little bit longer. Maybe just maybe I'm um, one and a half size, just like this. I'm gonna place it somewhere here. Okay. So this is a masking layer. And then also, we're going to apply a black and white gradient in this. So open, select your uh, rectangle, and open your uh, palette. And please choose from the drop down menu linear gradient. So the first color is a black, second color set to black as well. Black. And choose another, insert the another kind of a color somewhere here, a little close to the second tab. And also black. So it's all kind of a black, all black, black, black. Then select you the last one and change the alpha value down to zero. Okay. So this is what we got. Okay. Let me try to move it to somewhere here. Maybe like this. Okay. If we use this, this just a regular um what is that? Yeah. <laughs> the regular masking, the timeline based uh masking like like we did last time. 
see what's gonna happen. Let me unlock this, and then the top layer, let me apply masking. Uh, hold down the control key and click and choose the mask. And this will happen. Let me preview. So it will look like this. It's kind of a regular masking. And then on the border is kind of just a sharp and cut. So we're not going to do this way. So let me release the mask. Next thing is, uh, before we add the um, some new um, actions on it, what we're going to do is, so first we're going to turn this into a, a movie clip symbol. So select your um, rectangle with the gradient fill. Then we're going to convert it as a symbol. So click on this one, convert to symbol. Or you can go to insert, I mean the modify and convert to symbol. Either way is fine. Then let me rename it as gradient underscore mask, gradient mask. Okay. Okay. And then this one, in your properties panel, instances name will be mask underscore MC. I'm going to name it just like this. Okay, so we have now two movie clip symbol. One is red, one is gradient mask, and then the first one, the red one, we named it as red underscore MC as an instance's name. And this gradient fill has mask underscore MC. Okay, now it's time to add the action. Uh, create new layer on very top and rename it as actions. Okay, then highlight the frame. It's a blank keyframe now. Go to Windows menu, open actions. Now we're going to type the um, uh, really simple action script. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set both red underscore MC and then uh, uh, mask underscore MC movie clip symbol. Uh, so let me write it down. So my first one, red underscore MC. Cache as bitmap. Equal. True. Sorry. True. Semicolon. Semicolon means period. Okay. And the second one, mask underscore mc dot cache as bitmap equal true. So um, by setting this the cache as bitmap property, uh, so as soon as we open this one, this movie, and then uh, those two movie clip symbol will be. Uh, working as the other bitmap. And the third line, uh, my red underscore movie clip symbol will mask equal mask underscore movie clip symbol, period. That's it. And see what happens. Let me test the movie. Command return. See? You see the difference? So um, this border is kind of uh, smooth and soft to edges. So this is the other action script 3.0 ma uh, masking. So another thing is that we just need to add some more kind of animation in here. So now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to move my um, gradient field, this, this gradient mask, to somewhere here, out of border. Okay. Then, insert, create classic twin. I'm going to use the yeah, maybe a three second, so I don't want to have a kind of a, a too quick animation. And the insert the keyframe. Now, 
Insert another keyframe on six second mark. Another keyframe. Then, on this uh, second keyframe on three second mark, I'm going to move it to somewhere here. Okay. So it's going to, it will going to, it will be uh, moving like this and going back to the beginning. Okay. Then only thing left is we just need to keep this black and red uh, two uh, images from one to six second mark. So select both frames, then insert timeline frame. We just need to keep it. And now see what happened. Test the movie. See? It's going back. Very smooth. Okay. So this is how it works. Uh, it's a really simple action script, but um, the effect is pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to uh, post uh, this uh, sample files. Uh, in the, the description area as well so you can download it and you can maybe refer it so i hope this helps and i hope you enjoyed it and please be safe and then stay healthy and thanks for watching and see you next time